latest on September 10th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Tropics much quieter today on September 10th. The remnants of Dorian still active, Gabrielle also behind it. Faxi moving out to sea and the remnants of 96W, which was a subtropical depression yesterday on our books at least. Day 253 of the year, day 101 in the Atlantic. Uh, Gabrielle is moving off towards the northeast, Invest 94L still not doing too well in the Central Atlantic. Day 118 in the Eastern Pacific, no storms active at this point, uh, no invests even, but there are one or two areas of interest that could develop soon. And in the Western Pacific, Faxi moving off towards the northeast, 95W has a future as well. No storms active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. So we're still looking at ex-Hurricane Dorian, now down to 45 mile an hour winds, pressure of 990 millibars. This system could still deliver uh, an inch or two of rain to parts of the North Sea coastlines, uh, parts of Iceland, the Faroe Islands, currently 331 miles from Nanotalik in southern Greenland, 55.3 north, 44.1 west. There it is. Uh, reaching across the Atlantic with probably still a large wind field by this point and it will really be stalling around the Jan Mayan area um, in the far north Atlantic and will eventually move towards Norway and Svalbard. Invest 95W is out over the Western Pacific, not too far from Yap, 35 mile an hour winds, pressure of 999 millibars. The only other thing that we can really track at the minute since 94L is not likely to develop. 276 miles from Yap, 12.4 north, 135.4 east. This system's likely to meander around the area for quite a while. It's uh, on the end of a very broad system, um, so it's going to do a bit of a loopy track over the next few days. Some models expect that it could develop into a tropical storm during this five day period, other models not so keen, uh, but generally they do predict that it will develop into a tropical storm at some point as it heads further towards the west. This is um, satellite imagery and shear gradient map of uh, Invest 94L in the Atlantic, so not looking too great on that latest satellite imagery, quite devoid of rotation, um, and it did have a few blow-ups of convection, but it is starting to fizzle out as we get towards the late hours of today. We're watching possibly for something behind um, 94L, just appearing off Africa right now actually. Uh, that could be our next significant system in the Atlantic, some models suggesting that it could become a hurricane in the next seven days before striking the Lesser Antilles. I'm sure we'll know more about this over the next few days as the storm meanders across the west and uh, towards the west part of the Atlantic. This is the Gulf of Mexico looking fairly quiet, uh, general thunderstorm activity on the coastal regions. The Eastern Pacific looking like this, you can still see the shadow of Ex Juliet, which is still sauntering across the eastern Pacific. Elsewhere, there isn't too much going on, although there are one or two systems expected to become hurricanes in the eastern Pacific in the next week or two. Um, over in the central Pacific, things looking fairly quiet. A few little flare ups there. Um, could be some weak disturbances that could develop later on. The western Pacific looking rather interesting. 95W on the left hand side over there. Um, and the models suggest that there could be a few developments in the basin over the next few days over the course of the week, um, mainly in the Philippine Sea area, uh, open, over the open ocean and possibly heading towards the north. Uh, Japan could, also, could possibly get something in about a week's time, that's speculative at the moment, and the other system 95W could end up in the South China Sea. Australia and South Pacific region looking fairly quiet, Indian Ocean also rather quiet, just a few flare-ups occurring over India and just off the coast of Bangladesh. Uh, really not too much going on in this area at all. So if storms were to form in any of these areas, these are what the sea surface temperatures are looking like off the coast of the uh, Pacific coast of Mexico, 30 degrees plus. Uh, very warm still, the hot pockets, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the Western Caribbean, and uh, between Florida and Cuba generally in the Bahamas. Uh, temperatures very warm, 30 degrees plus in those areas. Still a little cooler out in the western part of the open Atlantic. Uh, obviously due to Dorian. Um, the Indian Ocean fairly warm, 28 plus, and in the Western Pacific the hot spot is still around the Mariana Islands, but the temperatures further west are recovering a little bit now, um, especially towards the Daito Islands of Japan. 
Uh, this is the latest on Tropical Storm Faxi, which is really holding on for dear life and is about to lose, probably going to lose tropical cyclone status within the next 12 hours. Um, partially exposed, very weak convection, which is fading away slowly but surely. It was always a small system, but you can really see how small it is. It isn't even as large as Hokkaido. And this is what Invest 95W is looking like. And there isn't really a center of circulation at all. You can see on the left hand side massive flare ups occurring around a broad low pressure system there. Um, 95W sort of on the eastern edge of that um, and it's a rather complex situation. We'll see whether we can find any circulation that pops up in the next day or so. Winds in the general vicinity around 35 miles per hour. On September the 10th then, this is where we're at right now. The next name in the Atlantic is Umberto. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Kiko. The Central Pacific's next name is Ima. Elsewhere in the Western Pacific, the next name on the naming list there is Paypa. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's Hika on list 8. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well, search Force 13 also all in text on any of those platforms and you can get in touch with us on any of these mediums. That's all for now, another Tropical Weather Bulletin will follow like clockwork tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.